Plickers is a great way to increase student engagement in your classroom, and it collects real-time formative assessment data from your students. And your students don't have to have devices in order to uh, participate in Plickers. It's basically an updated version of Clickers without having that piece. You use instead QR codes that are on paper. On your phone, the teacher, you'll get feedback that looks like this after you've scanned all the students' cards. And students, you give each student a card like this, and you can print them off directly from Plicker's website if you click on cards. I also have them for you to try if you'd like to stop by my office and use mine. Um, you can buy them on Amazon, but you can also just click right here and you can print them out on the printer and have them laminated here at school. So you're going to want to sign up. So I already have an account, so I'm going to go to sign in. Okay, so now this is your, um, where you're going to create your quizzes for your students. First, you need to set up your classes. So you want to do one for each period, and the student's name is tied to the card number that you give them. Each card is numbered one through, I think they have up to, um, let's see, 46, 46, oh sorry, 63, so you won't need that many, but you will just, you can add your roster and just import it um, from copying and pasting, or you can just type each name in right here like this and hit enter and then the new student is added at the bottom. Let's add a new class and I'll, I'll start over again. So here's my new class. And I put four students in. You just type their names in and hit enter, and you can see your available cards off to the right. So now I'm going to go back to the library. And um, as you can see, I have some quizzes I've already built in here. Uh, but I'm going to start over and build a new one to show you how to, to do that. So if you go back to your library, and I'm going to make a new folder first so that all my questions are going to be part of the same quiz. Okay, so I don't have any questions in the folder yet, so I'm in Reconstruction. And I'm going to add a new question by clicking on that. And you can choose multiple choice or true and false. You can also choose multiple correct answers. Okay, and that correct answer is the 13. So I want to save. And I'm going to create one more question. So right now I have two questions here that I want to ask my students. So I'm just going to do period six. I'm going to click period six, and then I add the question to that queue. So I'm going to select period six from my drop down, And same thing with this question at the bottom. I want to add this one as well. So now you can see on the right, these are the questions that will come up when I start this instruction with students. All right, so I'm ready to go to live view. So from now, this is where you control it from your phone. You need to download the app. It's free. It's called Plickers. 
and when you open the app you choose the period that you want to use and then you can click on the questions in your queue. You also want to project from your computer onto your screen because the questions you click from your phone will show up on the screen. So that's how you do the setup. When you're actually playing with your students, each one has a card and each side of the card has A, B, C, or D on it. And students need to hold up the correct side that matches the answer to the question you are projecting. 